It may be coronation weekend, but we're still six action-packed months away from crowning the new touring car champion here amid much celebration, I'm sure, on the main straight at Brands Hatch. So welcome to weekend number two of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. Two weeks on from a meeting at Donington Park that was full of fresh storylines and plenty of surprises for the new season. We are looking forward to this hugely. 27 drivers, we've got six different makes. It's going to be impossible to predict. This is going to be the year of all years. It's a little bit slimy, it's a little bit greasy. Umbrellas are going up again. Jake Hill comes between the two, so he's on the cross. Did nothing wrong, really. I can't just vanish. Sam Camish will go through. I got first start. If I'm Jake Hill, I'm like, we come across me. What, what, what do you want me to do? It is going to be one of those days that is weather affected. Oh, he's very upset. Bob Chilton wins. Nicholas Hamilton, his best ever touring car result. The best moment of my life, if I'm honest. I'm not going to be able to get over it for, for a long time. Dan Camish wins round three of the British Touring Car Championship at Donington. First weekend as a married man, two wins. They are super. It's been great. <laughs> A double win at Donington for Dan Camish. Could this be his year? But with Tom Chilton taking his first victory in four years, well, it's best not to try and predict anything at this stage. But there's Camish with an eight-point lead over Tom Ingram, who made a solid start to his title defence. Jake Hill had a second and a fourth at Donington. And then Tom Chilton, Adam Morgan, Colin Turkington and Dan Robottom complete the top eight, along with the outstanding Andrew Watson, who took a brilliant fourth in his debut race, and he's a point ahead of the three-time champion Ash Sutton, who's back in ninth. The winning form of Tom Chilton, the solid form of Tom Ingram and the point scoring of Nick Halstead helped put the Accelerate Hyundais on top of both the team's and manufacturer's standings. Bobby Thompson is the early leader in the independent driver standings and Power Max Racing lead the independent teams helped by the fourth place finish of Andrew Watson and two top tens from Aaron Taylor-Smith. Ten race weekends make up the touring car season and this is the first of two visits to the famous ex-Grand Prix venue of Brands Hatch in Kent. In October, the season's finale will be on the Grand Prix circuit, but it's the short Indy circuit that sees the action today. At just over 1.2 miles, it's the shortest on the schedule. Excitement guaranteed. Josh Cook won the two opening races here last year, but after Donington, I'm not predicting anything. It is round four of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship on the Indy circuit at Brands Hatch that always delivers drama. Get ready then because the lights go red. Lights will go out. Now we're racing. Good. Get away by the BMWs. Demon start by Turkington. Away like a stab wrap with Jake Hill getting up to third. He defends from Ash Sutton who keeps on coming to the inside line. Remember they cross swords at Donington but Jake Hill stays ahead. Rory Butcher is fifth but a great getaway by Turkington. He leads Camish on the run to Druids. And Turkington has checked out at the end of the opening lap they come across the line. He's nearly a second to the good, and there's mayhem coming out of Clark Kerr. In the midst of all of that, Adam Morgan's BMW with big, big damage. I think Stephen Jelly, Dan Robottom, Andrew Watson have got scooped up in that as well. And the race is going to be stopped because we've got a car in the middle of the road. Red flag is shown, but that's taken Jelly and Morgan out of the race. Robottom is in the gravel as well, and Stephen Jelly, you can see, has got huge damage on the front of the car. So a red flag with that car being in the middle of the road and with three others in the gravel. Ian Watson, the clerk of the course, instantly calls for the race to be halted. We are good to go racing. 18 laps, round four of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. Lights out, Turkington blasts away once more and another slow start by Camish. So Hill gets the jump and Sutton goes ahead of Dan Cam as well. BMWs one and two, Sutton into third, Camish down to fourth, Rory Butcher fifth, Bobby Thompson sixth as they round paddock. But Dan Camish there with now Rory Butcher crawling all over the back of it, a really bad start relative to those around him. Yeah, not as good as the first restart. First start, was it? The pole chin struck Camish good and hard as he lost three places there. Ingram again on the back of Butcher, goes to the inside line, full send up the inside from the good day. Tom Ingram goes through. Now, when he did this before, he ran wide, and Butcher got the switch back, not this time. Elbows well and truly out there from Ingram to stop Butcher making the move. Up front, Turkey good can stroke this one home. Camish is now right up behind Sutton, but he's not going to do it. Oh, Sutton lost a bit of time coming off the corner, but not enough, I don't think, for Camish to get back. 
Sutton bounced over the curve, didn't he? That just unsettled the car as it was spat to the outside of the road. Camish has got one last opportunity and it starts here to try to get up alongside, heading to the timing line. Colin Turkington is on target for the win. Is it going to be Sutton or Camish for second place? It looks like Ash Sutton has done just enough as Colin Turkington wins for the 64th time in his career in the BTCC. Second is Ash Sutton and third, Dan Camish. Round five of the Quick Fits British Touring Car Championship. It's 24 laps, the lights go red. Lights out, blast off, good getaway by Turkington, good start by Jake Hill as well. Another slowish start by Dan Camish, look, because around the outside of him goes Tom Ingram. And to the outside of Turkington dives Ash Sutton, then thinks better of it. Slots back in and then goes to the inside line. Fantastic move from one side to the other goes Ash Sutton. He's going to get the race lead heading into Druid. Brilliant move. Through he goes. Ingram's up to third already as well. Uh, Roe Bolton obviously desperate to get some racing under his belt. He didn't complete the lap at, uh, in race one. Now he can fight as well through it. Now he's looking at exactly the same gap he was looking at for Stephen Jelly on the uh, first race. But this time he forces the gap open and gets through. Ash Sutton and Tom Ingram, both of them exciting drivers to watch, and the gap is coming down and down. Only by hundreds that time around. 0.415 of a second is the margin between them, but Ingram now is studying what Sutton's car is doing. So Jake Hill edging ever closer through that first sector. He's faster than Kamish. He closes as best he can under braking as well. But look at the defending. So Kamish is a, a wily old race box now in BTCC. He doesn't need to leave the door open. Jake Hill is going to make a move now up the inside, coming to Druids then. The door is open, the gap is there, the BMW has track position, and Jake Hill goes through up into fourth place. Cook in turn, looking to get past Ricky Collard, and Sam Osborne dives through on the inside. Fantastic move, assuming he doesn't go out wide. Josh Cook tries to fight back, and Sam Osborne has got that covered. Ash Sutton to the chequered flag. His first victory of the season beckons. Round five of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. It's a win for Ash Sutton. Second across the line is Tom Ingram. A drama there, and the last quarter involving Osborne, involving Collard, involving George Gamble now on the inside, and Josh Cook at the head of it all. Gamble's going to be the big winner with his elbows out. It's going to be a drag race in the line, and Osborne just gets his nose in front. That meant that sixth was Butcher, seventh was Cook, Osborne eighth, Gamble ninth, and Ricky Collard was the one that really lost out, down to tenth. Round six of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. Bobby Thompson on pole position. Lights are red. Lights go out in his blast off. Good getaway by Jake Hill. He's gained one place at least. Josh Cook tries to get between the Toyotas on the way up towards Paddock for the first time. Bobby Thompson on the inside. On the outside, Ricky Collard. Sam Osborne has made a good start, and he goes third. And here comes Josh Cook up the inside. He gets crowded a little bit, has to back out of that and go to the outside line. Collard to the outside of Thompson. Gamble to the outside of everybody. Jake Hill gets run out wide as well by Josh Cook. Three wide in the mid-pack. Collard has got the inside line for Graham Hill. And now he's got the lead. A fantastic first lap from uh, Ash Sutton, seventh place is game. And he's not given up yet because he prizes open the door against Rory Butcher. There may have been a rub, it may have been Rory breaking late, but the Toyota went a little bit wide. Ash Sutton doesn't force the issue there, in fairness. So Rory Butcher way up the curve on the inside, hands onto the plate. But Ash Sutton is crawling all over the back of him. There's just about a Ford Swift on the inside line. Through goes Sutton for third. Full of grass, he might be heading for the pits. And Sutton goes second on the inside of Bobby Thompson coming off clearways. Another inspired move by Ash Sutton. Remember, he's only got five laps of that hybrid to use as he comes up now towards the line. And he's used two of them already. Yeah, it only takes one Toyota to possibly win. Oh. And that's Jake Hill who's had a problem. I wonder if there's oil coming onto the circuit now. Or Jake's had another problem. Oh, it let go very quickly. That could well be oil, couldn't it? Could that be a puncture, though? It could be a puncture. And Ricky Collard has been given a penalty. Collard has got a penalty. It's come up on the timing screen. There is a penalty for the race leader for track limit offences. Ash Sutton then is set to inherit the win. He can just sit there now. And who would want to be the person on the radio having to give that message to Ricky Collard? Is it going to be Christian Dick? Is it going to be Paul Ridgeway? Is it going to be John Gilbert? The team investor to the outside line there goes Sutton. I mean, he wants to win on the road. He wants to be the man to take the checkered flag first. So don't rule it out. There's no gap on the inside. So Ash Sutton is now going to try and make this a drag race to the line. He's in the back of the Toyota. Here they come. The penalised Toyota is in the lead on the road. And Sutton can't get up the inside as he did a lap ago. So the checkered flag is at the ready. It is going to be then Ricky Collard who wins on the road, but on corrected time, Ash Sutton it is to win for the second time today ahead of Bobby Thompson in second place. Tom Ingram is going to inherit third. That's our touring car day on this coronation weekend and the 
Only thing we haven't had is a procession. We'll do the same thing again in two weeks' time. Bye for now.